Hello people of YouTube, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, good day, wherever you are. Thank you for tuning in to another video. My name is Nicardo Lanaman and without further ado, we're getting right into it. Red flags for men. Now here's a disclaimer, by no means am I a relationship guru, nor am I an expert on this topic by any form of qualification. These are just my thoughts and opinions. I must admit this is probably a very problematic and divisive video. But here goes. Red flag number one. She behaves too entitled to your money too early. Don't get me wrong. I do believe that, you know, men should spend on their women, especially in the courting phase, the early phase, because that's where we show our value. You know, whether we like it or not, we judge men on what they can provide. And we judge women on how they look. And men, if you don't have a sustainable source of income, just leave the people them data alone. Where it becomes a red flag is when it becomes an obligation for you to spend an exorbitant amount of money on her for her. And if you cannot do so, she makes it out to be a problem. That's a red flag. You need to get out of there as quick as you can. Or address it. Nip it in the bud. See, many women preach independence and how they are working their own money. Which rightfully they are. But at the same time, you should be able to provide money. It's kind of... It's kind of a full circle. Red flag number two. If she isolates you from friends and family. This one goes without even needing an explanation. You know, if you have a partner and she tries to isolate you from your friends that have been there for a while or from your family members, there's something wrong there. And the sad thing is there are many cases of this around us. I'm sure you know at least one person that this has happened to. I know of a situation now that has a guy who got a girlfriend. And his friends that he used to talk to frequently, both male and female, used to talk to frequently, hang out with, um, go to Pier 1, probably have some, have dinner, plan road trips and stuff with. He can no longer do that and if he sees any of them, he has to hide from his significant other if he wants to call to them, like a simple holding up of his hand to them. That is a red flag and if you find yourself in that situation, you need to get out. I do admit that there are some situations that we as men, we may put or significant others in and they feel a bit insecure if we have a friend of the opposite sex if there's truly nothing going on you could try to reassure your significant other of this and um, i can get why you'd want to distance yourself from your friend because you know the backlash from your significant other is going to be much greater than that of the backlash of your friend but we have to remember that you know our friends were there before and they're probably going to be there if that relationship ever ends so if someone tries to distance you from friends and family, that's something that you should not overlook. You should try to get on top of that. I mean, the same guy, um, one of his female friends saw him and gave him a hug, very light hug, and then walked by and then his significant other went up to the female, went away and said, she never liked that and X, Y, Z, and um, that's crazy. So here's red flag number three for me. She has done no wrong. You see, when you get to a, a certain age, you get, you think that there's a level of maturity that you can expect around you. So you know that if someone did something wrong in their previous relationship, you, you'd expect them not to make themselves be the victim, but to say, you know, I did this wrong and own up to whatever they did wrong. Most times females, oh my God, I'm calling out females. So most times females, they have done no wrong in their previous relationships and they're taking all the baggage, all the stress, and they have to be shouldering, shouldering that all to themselves. And they tend to say that they were cheated on while they were being faithful and all that. Probably that is all true. Probably they were all good. Probably they, they did all they could to save their relationship and they were being cheated on by their past, um, boyfriend or whatever probably all the things that they were saying were true however if in every situation not even in past relationships let's say like situations with their families their friends they were always the victims they, they were always the ones dotting the i's crossing the t's and um life just seems to throw bad balls at them then um it's a red flag to me. I believe that you should have uh, the maturity to can say, you know, I did something wrong here, so, you know, I can see how I w probably was a problem here. I can see where, you know, I probably caused this reaction. Red flag number four. If she compares your relationship 
to someone else's relationship that's crazy i don't like being compared to me i don't like being compared to anybody and you know this poor couple thing i believe that this poor couple thing is a female thing you know you don't see guys getting up and saying you know we're going to be a poor couple or trying to emulate another relationship i believe that it's a female thing and um, she how do people mean him Diara and Ken like the other day a lot of people idolized those people and then I guess they found the guy cheating on the girl and a lot of people people's hearts were broken because they said they idolized them I even saw somebody did an Instagram live just to talk about how he how she could not believe that he would have done something like that to her and they're, they have their YouTube channel and they're making their money and whatever so yeah if she continuously compares your relationship to that of her friends her past relationships or even internet fake relationships that's a red flag for me you know that's something that you need to address that's something that you need to talk about or take away yourself from red flag number five if she's opportunistic come on guys Sometimes we know these things and we're the ones that who are who are enabling it as as men, you know, and because probably we have some money at the time. We see a very attractive woman and we're just going to give her what she wants because we want to sleep with that woman. So we're going to spend all the money. We're going to you're going to spend all the money, spend all the time, do X, Y, and Z. We do this without allowing the woman to bring something to the table. So when we do that now, we create we're creating opportunistic women women who just they expect because of how they look we're going to spend all the money on them we're going to spend this on them do that on them without really expecting much in return that you know feeds their opportunistic behavior you have circles of women talking about how they use man for their money and we as men we just keep on fueling the cycle of women who use men for their money if she hits you up and she has a bill to pay if she hits you up only when she needs you to drive her somewhere if she hits you up when she needs to buy something new you know that's opportunistic behavior you know we need to stop fueling that seriously we need to stop it as I said, I'm not a relationship guru. These are just my opinions. If you like this, you know, you can go ahead and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. If you all know any other opportunistic behavior, you can go ahead and just put it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. You can also click the notification bell to be notified whenever I post a video. And hey, stay safe.